Every day, thousands of students attend class in more than 240 portable classrooms in Knox County. The spaces offer a short term, cheaper option for overcrowded schools. News reporter Mark Salinger takes a look inside and our report card on school construction. Robin and John, more than half of all the elementary schools around Knox County have at least one portable building. All but three high schools have them. As the population in Knox County grows, the district has turned to temporary classrooms as a temporary fix. They dot schools all around Knox County, 128 portable buildings housing 243 classrooms. The school system calls it an imperfect solution for a school district that has seen an increase of more than 7,000 students in the past 10 years. They should be a temporary solution, but as we've seen, they kind of came and just stayed. Adrian Burnett Elementary in North Knoxville is one of the schools with the most portable buildings, five of them home to 11 classrooms. The building in our school grounds do not meet the expectations of our staff or our children. Portable classrooms present challenges and concerns for teachers like Lauren Hobson. One of the big challenges is a safety challenge because you have students leaving and entering the building every day. She says settling for a temporary solution masks the problem but doesn't make it go away. If we have portables, then they're not having to make decisions about adding on to schools in an appropriate way or building new schools. At Adrian Burnett, the building itself is not technically over capacity. However, there are only two sets of permanent restrooms for its roughly 500 students, and there isn't space for a real gym. I feel like we have literally just been forgotten. I think they forget that there is a school there. Regina Turner's children attended school in an open classroom at Adrian Burnett. Two classes combined into one room. It was not unusual for my kids to come home and say, you're not going to believe so-and-so went running through the class screaming and yelling and I missed this question because of it. As of November of 2017, four elementary schools in Knox County had more students enrolled than the building had room for. If not for portable classrooms, 11 more elementary schools would be over capacity according to documents obtained by 10 News. We have a lot more students than we have space right now. Since 2006, enrollment at Knox County Schools has gone from just under 53,000 to more than 60,300. At Carnes Elementary, enrollment is expected to increase by 5.4% over the next five years. At Hardin Valley Elementary, it's expected to go up by 8.7% and could lead to more stress on school capacity. We have a lot of schools where we have counseling sessions or even classes that are being done in closets or in very, very small rooms that are not equipped to deal with the size of our classes. The need for more space isn't only in elementary schools. At Powell High School... The cafeteria, I believe, seats 300, and they are up to 1,400 students now. A $3 million upgrade to the cafeteria is budgeted for next year. Right now, the school is forced to divide the day into five lunch periods just to make sure everyone has room to eat. All the instruction revolves around the cafeteria schedule. 